Hello friends, my name is Rainy Rainforest and I have spent all my life adventuring through the Amazon Rainforest and learning about all of the amazing things God has made. Did you hear that? Everyone quick, put your hand to your ear and see if you can hear that sound. There it is again. Oh look, hmm. Which one of these animals do you think made that sound? Yes, the tree frog says, ribbit, ribbit. Do you know why? Every sound that we hear out here in the wild is saying, God, I love you. Everyone stand up and let's all sing to God together. on the ground. I have seen many animals on my adventures here in the Amazon, but my favorite is a little monkey that I named Monkey Moo. Would you like to meet him? Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Monkey Moo. Boys and girls, if you want to be monkeys too, let me hear you all say, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> that funny monkey, off he goes. I need to teach you the two rules of being a monkey like Monkey Moo. Let me hear you say, ooh, ooh, one time. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Great. Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by listening. If you can be a kind monkey who listens, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. Great job. Now, let me hear you say, ooh, ooh, two times. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping a lookout when you're climbing high or swinging low. Let's all put on our special eyes together. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Good job. <laughs> Monkey Moo likes to climb the tall trees here in the rainforest. He wonders about what lives way up high in the trees and how much he can see if he climbs the top. To climb the tree, he reaches up high and pulls himself up. You monkeys do it too. Everyone reach up high and pull. Monkey Moo sees some pretty flowers. Do you see them too? Yeah! Monkey Moo wonders what else is in the tree, so he keeps on climbing. You monkeys do it too. Monkey Moo made it to the canopy. There are birds that tweet and fruit to eat. If this fruit looks yummy to you, then rub your tummy. Monkey Moo is close to the top of the tree because the sun is shining brightly up above. Keep climbing, Monkey Moo, and you monkeys do it too. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. 
Monkey Moo made it to the top of the tallest tree in all the rainforest. He can see the big river and so many trees and birds. Oh no! Monkey Moo is scared because he realizes how high he has climbed. Can you show me a scared face like Monkey Moo? Monkey Moo looks just like you. But what should he do? Wee! Wee! Monkey Moo has a great idea. Let's call our friend Amazon Andy. Andy lives in a treehouse high up in the canopy and always helps Monkey Moo whenever he needs it. They have a special way of calling each other when they need help. It sounds like this. Wee! Wee! You do it too. Wee! Wee! Hi, friends. I see you could use a little help. And I think I know exactly what you need. Whenever my family and I don't know what to do, we go to the Bible for answers. Today's story reminds me a lot of Amazonia. In the first book of the Bible, called Genesis, we read that in the very beginning, there was nothing in our world. Everything was very dark. Let me see all my monkey friends close your eyes really tight. The only thing you can see is darkness when your eyes are closed. That's how it was before God made the world. But God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, you can all open your eyes again. God saw that the light was good, so he made day and he made night. And that was the very first day. On the second day, God made the sky and he made the water. On day three, God called the dry ground land and the water seas. He also made plants and trees. On day four, God made two great lights for the sky. Friends, what is the name of the bright light we see in the daytime? The sun. Yes. And what is the bright light in the sky at nighttime? The moon. You got it. On day four, God made the sun and the moon, but he wasn't finished because God wanted the world to be full of things he loves. So on the fifth day, God made animals that fly in the sky and swim in the sea. The next day, day six, God made all the animals that move on land and the wild animals, like the kind we have living around us out here. But day six was a special day because that is when God made the things he loves most. God made people. First, he made a boy named Adam. Then he made a girl named Eve. And he's still making people like us. So that's the story of how God made everything we see. Isn't it amazing that God is the one who created the world and you and me? If you think so, let me hear you say this after me. God, God made, made me. me. That's right. God made you, and he sees you way up in that tree. Instead of thinking about how high up you are, try to find things that God has made and say them out loud on your way down. I've got to go, but I hope you have fun monkeying around today. So long. Thanks, Amazon Andy. You always know how to help us. Monkey Moo needs to do what Amazon Andy said. He should climb down and look for things God made along the way. Boys and girls, you do it too. Monkey Moo sees some of the things God made. Do you? If so, say it out loud. God made the birds and monkeys and you too. You're doing great. Keep climbing down that tree. If you see flowers that God made, take a big sniff to smell them. You're almost to the ground. Keep climbing down. You did it. And God helped you. See, there is absolutely nothing too hard for God to do. Let's stand up and sing a song to celebrate.
hard for you to do. Jeremiah 32. You sounded great. You can take a seat. That song made me think of a verse from the Bible. It goes like this. Just say it after me. Lord God. Lord God. There is nothing too hard. There is nothing too hard for you, for you to do. To do. Jeremiah 32:17. Jeremiah 32:17. That's right, Monkey Moo. This week, don't forget that God made Monkey Moo and God made you too. Before you go, let me hear you say this one more time after me. God God made, made me. Me. That's it. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah.